Hi, I'm Emily Lakdawalla here at Planetary Society Headquarters. Last week I did a little video report from the Space Up Unconference in San Diego and people seem to like that a lot. So here we are, we're going to start doing a video feature hopefully once a week. This week I'm going to talk to you about seasons on Mars. To start with the basics, Mars is a planet, just like Earth, and Mars rotates on a spin axis, just like Earth does. Also just like Earth, that spin axis is tilted. Seasons on Mars happen because as Mars goes around the Sun, the orientation of that axis doesn't change a whole lot. So, at some times during Mars's year, the North Pole is pointed at the Sun, and at other times during Mars's year, the South Pole is pointed at the Sun. Of course, when the North Pole is pointed at the Sun, it's summer up here, and it's winter down here. All of this is exactly the same as for Earth. But on Mars, there's a bunch of things that make its seasons quite different from Earth's seasons. One of those things is that Mars's orbit is much more elliptical than Earth's is. It gets close to the Sun at some times during its year and far from the Sun at other times during its year. It just so happens that when it is farthest from the Sun, it's also winter in the Southern Hemisphere. So winters in the Southern Hemisphere are much colder than winters in the Northern Hemisphere. Another consequence of elliptical orbits is that objects move faster when they're close to the Sun, and they move much more slowly when they're far from the Sun. So that means that these Southern Hemisphere winters, which were already colder, are much longer than the Northern Hemisphere winters. Both of those things make Mars's Southern Hemisphere a much more difficult place to exist than Mars's Northern Hemisphere. So it's kind of unfortunate that both the Spirit and Opportunity rovers had Southern Hemisphere landing sites. There's yet another thing that makes Southern Hemisphere winters tough, and that's actually what happens during the Northern Hemisphere summer, when you have the North Pole pointed at the Sun all the time. With this Northern Polar ice cap on Mars getting Sun all day long, you actually start transpiring some of this ice into Mars's atmosphere. Mars's atmosphere gets, actually gets much thicker, and all of that water in the atmosphere starts to form clouds. It gets very hazy, especially in the morning, so it takes a long time for things to warm up during the southern hemisphere winter. All of these things make life difficult for landed missions in Mars' southern hemisphere. The same won't be true for Curiosity. So there you go. That's a little summary of what seasonal weather is like on Mars. And I hope you'll stay tuned next week for another video update.